hyperdispensationalism could also be called ultra strict Paul onlyism. It's a subtle satanic perversion of dispensationalism intended to disarm Christians by disqualifying certain verses from being quoted with authority in spite of their obvious agreement with Paul's epistles. For example, hypers say you can't quote verses from the book of John to prove eternal security. And they change the meaning of born again to make it about Israel instead of individuals getting saved. And they say it's wrong to get baptized in water today so they can lure people out of soul-winning Baptist churches and into their useless hyper-dispensational cults. They limit you to only Paul's epistles, despite the fact that 1 Peter and 1 John teach some doctrines that can only apply in the church age. And they were both written to the body of Christ, according to 1 Peter 5.14 and 1 John 5.20. And in 2 Peter 3.15-16, Peter specifically said he was in agreement with Paul and writing to the same people as Paul. Paul himself said in 1 Timothy 6, 3 through 4, that if any man consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, like many of the words in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, he is proud, knowing nothing. Paul said in Romans 15, 4, that whatsoever things were written aforetime, things in the Old Testament, were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Deuteronomy 25, 4 applied literally to Old Testament Jews, but Paul applied it devotionally to New Testament Christians in 1 Corinthians 9, 9 through 10. Paul said Genesis 15, 6 was not written for his, Abraham's sake, alone, but for us also, Romans 4, 23 through 24. Hypers do not rightly divide the word of truth. They wrongly divide it and lead you into a ditch.